it's coming down, everybody. And it's not stopping. Let's look up at the roof. It's all staying melted around the chimney. Thank goodness for that. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. I'm Ashley. I'm Amy. And we're Martin Midlife Misadventures. Today is December, Friday the 10th. Is it really? It is, Crazy. and our power is out. out. Completely out, been out for a while, so we're going to show you what. How we do it. How we're going to deal with it. <laughs> All right, let's tell them what came in the mail. You what guys you... aren't going to believe this. So, power's out, right? Uh -huh. And we get a Okmo 2000 watt power station in the mail. That's right. So we're going to review it today and show you what we... Think is important to have when the power's out. All right, let's open it. All right, everyone, so here it is. Let's talk about it. So this is the G2000 model from Okmo. Uh, the battery capacity is 2,220 watt hours. Mm -hmm. The rated power is 2,000 watts. It has lithium ion batteries in it. Mm -hmm. um, the charge input is two max of 240 watts. And AC output is 110 volt. Uh, the USB outlets are 5 volt, 2.1 amps. So if you ever wonder why your batteries on your phones and other devices uh, die and won't keep a charge, it's because you're charging it to the wrong amperage. Right. So uh, it also has a DC output of 12 volts, type C output of 60 watt max, cigarette port outlet of 12 volts and you could they also sell the solar panels mm -hmm. and the charge input is a max of 200 watt uh 200 watts it has a pure sine wave and it says its operation temperatures are anywhere from 14 degrees fahrenheit to 140 degrees fahrenheit excellent it comes with the power station obviously comes with a wall charger and they do recommend that when it's not in use to have it charged and plugged in completely all the time we've got that's the other part of the cord yeah we've got a uh, car charger as well so you can charge it from your car battery and you can charge it by solar panel which was what I totally recommend getting yeah. the solar panel because then you're set no matter what yeah. Now, we're going to talk about the things that are important to us. We're not plugging a coffee pot in here. Why? Because it, it takes too much uh, energy. It's too much power. Yeah, we got rid of our coffee pot the second we got our rig because we knew just that was going to be too much power. Yeah, so we don't have a coffee pot, but let's show you how you make off-grid coffee. Okay, if we're going to make coffee, we're going to need some hot water. We've got our tea kettle on the wood-burning stove. You can hear it. Listen. It's starting to boil. Those are all our clothes hanging to dry. That's what you have to do. All right, let's get this thing of water and make some coffee. All right, let's make a cup of coffee. You all wonder, what do we use the cone filters for? This is how we do it. Put it in the top of the cup. Get you some coffee grounds, whatever kind you like. We usually use about two scoops. We like it strong. And then all you do is pour your hot boiling water over the top. Hear that? Can you zoom in and show them? See it coming down? Add some more. Let me pick this up so they can see how much we already got. Almost a full cup. There's your off-grade coffee, everybody. So we don't have a multimeter to do all the fancy mathematical equations on how much, how long it'll last if you have a certain amount of mm -hmm. amperage coming from it and all of that. There are plenty of reviews out there that can show you that for not only this model, but for, you know, in general to know those things. We are going to show you what is important to us. Yes, and what we have learned about conserving power. So, first thing we talked about, no coffee pot. They no take coffee pot. way too much energy. Learn to do it off-grid. Next thing that's important to us is what? Is showering. Being able to shower. So, we've got one of these handy-dandy little devices. Let me see if I can... 
Oh my well, God. while she un untangles the shower head. Okay. Okay, you see this part, everybody? This goes in your five gallon bucket that's full of water. And, and then, then it comes out here. Very cool. So you're able to take a shower without having electricity. But to charge it. All right. We've got three out of five bars. Okay. And we can do this one of two ways. See? We can do it by USB. Or we can do it by the 12 volt. Let's do the 12 volt for the sake of trying okay, it so out. Okay, so it has a button here. you got to push that button so it knows what you're trying to charge. And there we go. We're charging. Now we're charging our shower. So now we can have a shower. Yep. That's awesome. All right, what else would we want to plug in? We'd probably want to plug in our phone, right? Right? Yep. And there it goes. It's charging. Okay, so we can now charge our phones. As you can see, we have zero service. Zero service, as always. Emergency calls only. <laughs> no power, that's what it gets you. All right, we've got it plugged in. We've got the AC power on. We're going to plug in our heating blankets. Because they would both need to be plugged in at the boat at the same time. Right. So, there's one. Is it on? Yep. It sure is. Look at that. And two. Okay. So now we know we wouldn't freeze. We could run both of them. And um, we would have to do the calculations in order to know exactly how much these are pulling and how long we could run them off of this. Right. Would it make it through the night? Right. All right. Now we've got everything plugged in. We've As got our shower. See, showers in. Phone. Phone is charging. Turning both our blankets on. Both the blankets are on. And it's going. So for us, we don't use a lot of electricity. Of course, we could also plug in our um, computers and electronics. We could plug in the TV if we wanted. Right. We could do all those things. But for us, the most important things are shower, heat. And keeping warm. And our stove. So let's plug in the stove and see what happens. Let's do it. All right, let's fire it up and see if we can get our oven to come on. Look at that. We certainly can. Now let's see if we can fire it up. We'll this is exciting. Bake. 350. Start. It's heating. Nothing seems to be changing much over here. All right, so we can bake in our oven, which is really good because I had a crock pot meal planned for today that I can't do because it's going to take too much energy. Yeah. And we don't have any power. We're not using our power station to run a crock pot. This is perfect. All right, everybody, how about this ACMO and the timing for us? Our power is still out. It's yeah. been an all-day event so far, so who knows when it's coming back on. Yeah, no telling. And, uh, you know, for us, being able to just pull this out and plug in what we need, like our electric blankets, I mean, that's a, that's a godsend. That's... Yes, because I get up every two hours to stoke the fire. If I oversleep, the fire is going to go out, and this trailer is going to be sub-zero temperatures Icebox. before you know it. Yeah. Having those heating blankets, oh, it's it, it a lifesaver. It makes a difference. It makes a huge difference. And for us, you know, not just the heating blankets, but our nebulizer as well. Oh. That's super important mm -hmm. to us. Um microwaves, hair dryers, all of that stuff, not important to us. No, we don't even have those things. We don't, and like we said, we don't have a coffee pot. They pull too much power yeah. too fast. You want to use this and conserve this. We don't know when we're going to be able to get it charged again, and it wasn't fully charged when we took it out of the right. box. So we're going to be conserving. So we're not... if the power's out all day, all night, you know, we won't use this at all until tonight to plug in yes, our, our absolutely. electric blankets. Mm -hmm. We don't care about the TV. It's all about priorities and what is most important. We will want to bathe. We will want to keep warm. Right. And uh, as you can see, I can boil water on our wood stove. So getting hot water is not an issue. Right. But our nebulizer. Some people have to have CPAPs yeah. all night while they sleep. It's, it's detrimental to their health. Something like this could really, really 
help a lot of people out. It's something to consider, and it's not as expensive as... Like a Blue Getty. Yeah. Um, we don't know the exact price. Sorry about that. Uh, we can't even we can't get, get online, online right now. Internet, so we can't find those things out for you, but we will have a link in the description for this model. This is the G2000. Uh, and we will have a promo code for you as well. Yes, thank you, Jody, so thank much. Thank you, Jody at Okmo, for reaching out to us and sending this to us for review. Um, we are super impressed, and we will do another uh, follow-up once we have it fully charged and all the accoutrements that we need in order to test it and tell you exactly how long it'll last having both of our electric blankets yeah. plugged in our nebulizer, all of those things. Yeah, because we showed you the oven, but that's just because the weather is so whippy, cold. I mean, it's a blizzard out yeah. there. So we can't really be out there cooking, and that's something to consider, too. We could bring the little prop uh, butane stove inside, and we might do that, but worse comes to worse, other than our heating blankets and our nebulizer... Those are the two most important things yeah. to us. So Not the phones, mm -hmm. none of it. You know, just... and we have little other chargers and stuff that can charge all of that stuff. Yeah. Uh, we wouldn't probably waste our this power on charging those things ever. Um, this would be for the main two things that we need, right. which is our electric blankets and our nebulizer. And just because you can, I mean, you literally can plug every hole at one time and charge them. But just because you can doesn't, doesn't mean, mean you, you should. should. Yeah. Yeah. You you really want to think about what is important. It, we don't even have a refrigerator to plug in because our switch is to propane when the so power's that's, out. You know, that's a good thing for us. It is. All right, everybody. We hope you enjoyed this review. We have uh, quite a bit of footage we're going to add to the end of the video so you can see what we've been doing overnight. And we, like we said, we will do a follow-up review uh, once we've used it for a while and really know how long it's going to last yeah. to charge those things that are important to us. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. We are going to be talking to you really soon. God bless you all. Peace. <laughs> what are you doing, Ryan? Did it snow? Okay, so we're two in the morning. What are you doing? Uh, <laughs> At two in the morning. <laughs> cleaning off our awning. Yep, we're cleaning off this awning. It's done though. It's completely cleaned off now. Do you love this weather? It sure is beautiful though, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Oh, that wind is changing. Holy cow. Well, you all wanted to see what our weather's like. I think it's time to come in. I think it's time. Oh, yeah, look. Yeah. Holy cow. Okay.